I run an organization, a nonprofit organization called the Oceanic Preservation Society. We try to use films and photography to inspire people to save the ocean. That's our, our, uh, you know, our mission statement. You know, our, the joke was, uh, you know, when we first started, you know, the business, we said we're not trying to save the whole planet, just seventy percent of it, yeah. because the oceans covers seventy percent of the earth. But now, the, with the new film, you realize if you lose the oceans, everything else fails. We don't, we don't realize that, you know about half the oxygen that we breathe. You know, some people say two out of every three breaths actually comes from the ocean. The ocean and plankton, ocean plankton creates more, more oxygen than all the land plants in all the world. And so if, when we're losing plankton now, some people say 1% a year, might have lost 40% of it in the last 50 years because of, you know, we're heating it up, we're acidifying the oceans. So it's a big story. And, and I'm very cognizant that the average person on a Friday night, they don't want to spend 20 bucks, you know, to, for a movie ticket and get depressed. So we try to tell it, in a, I try to tell the movie, uh, tell the story with a movie that I'd want to see on a date night. And you know, exciting, sounds, under, under, like behind the scenes footage. Why is the plankton dying though? It's, we're acidifying the oceans right now, the, you know, probably the way that these lights are on, the way I drove here, with a, you know, when I'm at home I drive electric cars that are powered by the sun, but when I'm on the road, I'm driving an internal combustion engine just like you and probably everybody else in the room. I fly here with a, with a plane that's spewing carbon dioxide. About half the, car the carbon that we produce you know, gets absorbed by the oceans. Comes it, down. It, it creates a carbon, um, it creates a carbonic acid that when it bonds with the water and that starts to acidify the ocean. Just like you would if you put vinegar in a, you know, if you put vinegar in this glass and drop the seashell in it, it would dissolve in a matter of a couple hours. That's pretty acidic, but we're doing the same thing on a vast scale. You know, you used to think, well, the oceans are so big, there's, there's nothing that we can do to, to harm them. But, I mean, in, you know, in my generation, since I've been alive, we've fished out 90% of the sharks. Uh, we're on the road to lose all the, the major fish stocks by the year 2048. Uh, we're acidifying the ocean by as much as 30% since the industrial age. That's a, that's a big number. Um, we're losing coral reefs right now. Coral, all coral reefs will be in a state dissolved dissolve by 2050, by 2100. If we don't do something to mitigate it, they'll be gone. Um, it's a big issue. It, when you lose the coral reefs, you lose 25% of the species on the planet. Yeah. You know, there's a billion people that rely on coral reefs for food, sustenance, like myself, recreation. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever done in my life as an adventurer, you know, to, to put my head underwater and see this alien universe, all these creatures, amazing stuff. Sometimes you, you find a reef that nobody's seen before and you can look at every square centimeter. There's something going on on a microscopic level, a macro level, and you think, to the idea that this could be gone because we want cheap fossil fuels, to me it's unconscionable. So the, the point of the movie is not just to tell people what's going on, but give them the tools to inspire them to help save the planet. I mean, you know, there's, the solutions are, are mercifully all upgrades. And that's what we do in the course of the film. We don't just tack on all the you know, solutions at the end. Embedded in the story of what you know, racing extinction are ways that you, we, we're, we're doing to fix the, the issue. And so it's, it's, I get chills when I think of what we've, we've done in the last couple of years to try to tie up all these threads so it really feels like a, a really tight piece. You know, everything is sort of bookended. Uh, with you know, here's a major problem, and then when, in the exposition of the story, as as it unfolds, you see the solutions come out, and it's it's just it's a lot of fun.